Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to show you and to tell you very important topic in the QGIS, how to do the uh, tracing in, in, for the digitizing in the QGIS, which is a very important topic for everyone. So let's start. Actually, I have one layer map border test here and I would like to create one or digitize a new polygon to show the border of the new map, for example. For, just, just imagine I would like to create one a new uh, border here. So what should I do? First of all, coming here and after that coming here, uh, as you see toggle editing, activating, and here you see if it's a polygon, add polygon feature. If it's line, add line feature. And if it's point, add point feature. And we will start. Okay, so I would like to create from here to here, for example, here, just coming down and you see, okay, it seems very fast, but let's see the result, okay. It's done as you see, you know, it, it's not matched uh, according to our parcel city, uh, parcel city layer and it's not a uh, good one because, you know, at the end you, you will have a, a lot of mistake into your, for example, area calculation and for further management and uh, process. So let's solve this problem together. First of all, we must activate a snapping option. And if you just go to the project here, you see a snapping option and you have this chance to activate this one. So, so you know, here it's off and here it will be enabled. And here, the, the, according to which layers is up to your project. For example, here we have, you see the, the parcels, parcel city, and here you can define the uh, type. Here the tolerance and the type, you can define vertex, segment, centroid line endpoint and the tolerance is according to the uh, how accurate your project is that it's it's up to you the tolerance but by default is 12 and unit it's uh, which unit pixel that you are using or meters avoid overlap mean scale and max scale and those are for the somehow the professional one and because if you have the many object into your uh, project so we will keep it like this and even you have this option if you just come here, you have the snapping toolbar. And if I just, you know, here it's uh, disappeared. And if I just come again, it will be activated here. So it means you have two options to activate your snapping option. And if I just uh, start again, creating the new one, you see that this pink uh, sign and it will be activated and it will help us, you know, for the better and accurate and faster digitizing in QGIS, okay. But it has uh, some some problem. Okay, this one is good. For example, let's let's finish and see the result. And it was good because it says somehow straight line. But if we have the curve into our project, it will be difficult, and it will be really time consuming because each segment here must be a, a one click here, one click here, and you just imagine for this short line, so maybe in two minutes or three minutes, and maybe it, it comes a uh, many mistake here. And you, you, you know, you see, you must start like this, you know, you know, it is a, a too much difficulties because uh, you must be really accurate in this way. And if I just close and just check the result, you see what I mean, yes. And it's not, you know, it's not, uh, uh, align with the with this uh, parcel city line so and exactly this is the most important part of our tutorial is enabling here if i just come here enable tracing okay this will trace the parcel city and it, it bring you a really accurate and faster digitizing and let's see how it's working and let's test how it will be with the, when the, uh, the tracing is activated. And if I just stay here and after that, you know, without any clicking, you know, it's, it's following and it's tracing, you know, it's just maybe one click and after that, you know, here, and it's just click uh, closing the part and you see the result. And if I just zoom in, you see there is no problem in it. So just imagine if you would like to, you know, uh, digitize this part, you know, how many, uh, clicks you need that and how how is your accurate because we have some parts are curve and you know we have the many section and intersection and it takes a lot of time but right now there is no problem and it's really faster i hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any question or if you have any suggestion please write it down in the comment section thank you again and see you soon